Oh, hello there. Welcome to my vlog. It's currently Friday afternoon. It's 25 past three. I wasn't going to start vlogging today, but I thought, do you know what? I might as well now. I've got the rock tumbler set up. Let me show you. So I've got the rock tumbler out and I'm just learning exactly what I need to do. I've started off by putting some rose quartz in it. Apparently now I need to put the grit in and some water. So let's do that. So that's my grit in, now I have to put some water in. Okay, water in now what? Insert the inner lid back into the barrel until it's sealed. Right, put the inner lid back in until it's sealed. Yeah, then what? Put the stainless steel cover back on. Yeah. Reattach the knob and tighten it. Right. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Yeah. Right, so my barrel's done with my lid on and it's tightened. Then what? Place the tumbler in the base with the lid facing to the right. Yeah. Then plug it in. Now what? Press the on off button. On off. Okay. Use the plus and minus buttons to select the desired number of days and speed the tumbler will cycle for. Suggested times and speed on page 4. Hang on. Which is page 4? Oh there. Ha ha ha. Cross grind. 4 to 6 days on speed 3. Oh my god. Days. losing the speed and timer settings by pressing the pause button. Inspecting the stones to stop the tumbler without resting, resetting the timer, you can simply pause it, open the barrel and check your progress. Okay. And once that cycle's done, I have to move on to another cycle. Hang on. When the cycle one is over and you're satisfied with your results, pour the contents of the tumbler into a mesh strainer, which I've got and rinse the rocks and barrel with water removing all the grit and then we go for grit number two and let's have a look grit number two medium grit for six to eight days how long is this gonna take oh my god pre-polish is six to eight days and polish is seven to nine days so this is probably gonna take me three or four weeks just to get some polished stones so there it is my uh, rock tumbler, one of my Christmas presents. So yeah, I'm gonna have to keep it running for like three weeks. <laughs> okay, so we'll keep coming back to it in future vlogs, shall we? So we can see how it's getting on. Oh, hello there. I'm very warm. It is quarter to eight. The reason I'm warm is that I accidentally knocked the little thermostat box off the side with the heating and it's turned itself up <laughs> and we realised as we got really warm and thought what's happening why, why am I boiling turns out I turned the heating up so I've turned it down now and I've taken my jumper off and I look a bit of a mess but it's quarter to eight on Friday uh, Simon's got the hot sweats so he's laying down in bed at the minute Liz has been we've had our Friday night tea uh, I've wrapped some orders, um, I just got a couple more through for Labradorite and some Caribbean Calcite Pyramids which I'll do tomorrow because they're in the shop and I've been looking at TikTok as you do and I'm just getting more and more stressed with it and it's, I don't know why I get myself stressed about things that don't need stressing 
I'm having an identity crisis on TikTok at the moment. My Instagram is now uh, Spirit Psychic, that's it. It just makes sense for it to be that because that's what I use it for, I do my lives for Spirit Psychic. But my TikTok username is The Honest Vocal Coach. But at the moment I've been going live doing readings and TikTok shop. But there's also Vocal Reacts videos on there and that gets me the most numbers on TikTok. It's a funny one because I don't really earn anything on TikTok at all. So the only thing that it brings money from is the actual TikTok shop itself. So should I just be focusing on that? So turn it to spirit? I don't know, it's doing my head in. Because <laughs> I tried this once before and it went pear shaped. Someone pinched, well they didn't pinch but they took the Honest Vocal Coach username. So I had spirit anyway. And it, oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know, if anybody is like um, a marketing expert, please let me know, that would be great. Um, Alex has been messaging me today about thumbnails and things like that because I'm looking to give my vlog a little bit of a an update with new pictures and that kind of thing not a, a massive new look the vlogs will still be the same but you know the the picture and the profile uh, banner and you know that kind of thing the little intros and outros so we've been talking about that um yeah so yeah, stay with me. I know it's late and I'm going to bed, not now, but later. Um, but feel free to stay with me because I will continue vlogging tomorrow, which is Saturday. Tomorrow I'm in the shop. I've got two readings booked, but neither of them have replied to confirm. So I guess that's a no-no. Uh, there's a gentleman coming in with guitars tomorrow morning to show us them. Uh, oh, and I've got loads of posts to take to the post office, so I'll probably get a little trolley. Liz got one the other day. You know those... Uh, I don't want to put it the wrong way, but you know when you see old folk trundling about with a little shopping trolley type thing? Um, and they put the shopping and stuff. It's kind of like that, so it'll be helpful to get the post up and down. Uh, getting a message from Alex. Alex says, fancy... Oh, do I fancy counting how many vlogs I've done? I guess so. <laughs> We've got a new idea of putting the vlog number on it so people can see, like, know what they've watched and what they haven't watched, which I think is quite a good idea. But I don't even know how many vlogs I've got and it might take me forever to count them. So maybe there's a way of discovering how many videos I've got and then I can delete the covers and then work out how many vlogs. So I give it a try. Oh, good morning. It's Saturday morning. It's a fast 10. Liz is over there. She's looking at what she can sweep up. She's wandering around with a brush. Um, I've just wrapped all the orders. So I'm going to be trotting down to the post office in a minute. We had a guy come in this morning. He actually came in on Wednesday and said, I've got some guitars. Would you like to see them? And I said, yes, bring them in. We'll have a look and we'll see if we want to buy them. Anyway, Simon's quite poorly, is it? Oh, I've got the cold shivers and all the rest of it. So the guy walked in this morning with the two guitars on his back. And uh, as he came in, I said, oh, unfortunately he's not here. And before I could even say because he's ill, he just talked straight over me and went, oh, well, I'll just take them to a charity shop then. And he had a proper strap uh, and just left. It didn't even give me a chance to say Simon's ill. I'm going to take some photos of them. He's at the other end of the phone. I'm going to show them the guitars and then we can buy them off you. But now he was, he was dropped off. So Simon said, I don't want his guitars anyway. He said other words, but I'm not going to mention that on the vlog. And I've had a return uh, from TikTok shop. They say that the crystals are not real. I can absolutely guarantee you the crystals are real uh, and that they look like a toy. <laughs> right well you looked at the pictures and everything and bought them and it looks exactly the same as the pictures TikTok shops a little bit of a minefield because they can get an automatic refund without really giving too much information as to what's wrong with them and they don't even have to return sometimes and it frustrates the heck out of me as a business owner it's like well how are you supposed to make money you sell stuff send it out to someone who's bought it off TikTok they say they don't like it they get a refund and then where am I then what have I got nothing 
So yeah, so it's very negative in here. I'm gonna smudge, I think. Get me smudge stick out. I've got, I've just put it down somewhere where I put it. Desert sage, desert sage, desert sage. I don't know. Uh, to give the space a little bit of a, a positive vibe because it's a lot of negativity this morning. Plus, another one, the two readings that I booked, uh, I texted both of them yesterday as I always do just checking that everything's fine for today. Neither of them have bothered to reply. <sighs> just say you're not coming, don't just not reply. Wow. Okay, let's clear the negativity. I'm off to the post office. Apparently I'm getting something with meat in for Liz <laughs> and something without meat for me because <laughs> there's a Greg's down there. Oh, hello again, it's now 10 past one. I'm feeling slightly better than I was this morning. There was just too much negativity going off. So I had the smudge stick out. It took me ages to get it to light properly, but no, it's good now. We've had some customers in, but not so very much. Liz is on with another cup of tea and it's really cold. I've had to put my coat back on. I've got the heater just down here and it's kind of wafting up the inside of my coat. Um. TikTok's been driving me insane. I probably mentioned it previously in said vlog um, that I lost my identity. So I had a word with a good friend of mine, Michael, who I taught singing for a while, who's a bit of a an Instagram uh, marketing expert. He said uh, rebrand it to the spirit stuff because that's where you earn the money. I went fair point. Um, someone else I spoke to, Sam, who's also a TikToker, uh, not a TikToker. An Instagram, a TikToker, uh, and he said, "Why don't you just stick with the Honest Vocal Coach videos? But then when you go live, you go shop and psychic readings. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going for Honest Vocal Coach actually on the page, but when I go live, it will be for psychic stuff and uh, chit chats and uh, my crystal shop." I think we're going with that before it does my head in anymore. That's where I'm leaving it. Now I normally do a TikTok live on a Saturday afternoon, but I'm not feeling it right now because it's been doing my head in. So I might just do a little bit of cross stitch and warm my hands because it's freezing. Uh, Liz is just back there making a cup of tea. So we're here in Barnsley. I didn't know I was coming out tonight, but I am. Alex is not feeling it. Fancied an evening out because her dad's working and he's staying out so uh i've joined alex and we're going to nando's look at us saturday night out there's literally nobody here though just to get out i suppose and not be stuck in the house so uh i've left simon at home feeling sorry for himself it's not a still very hot i was quite lucky i only had it bad for a couple of days but he's still bad so I doubt we'll be doing second hand shopping tomorrow. I might just film some reactions because I really want to get back into that. Oh, it's cold. So Nando's is really busy, so we've got our name down for it. But in the meantime, we're going to have a wander across to Spoons and see if they've got, you know, more space available. Because it's proper busy in Nando's. It is Saturday evening though, isn't it? Okay, so back to Nando's. <laughs> They've just phoned to say that they've got a table for us, so heading back over again. I'm gonna need food after this. I'm having a right workout. And I've been using purple shampoo Especially since then to try and not for it to be yellow, but I don't suppose it matters so much now because my hair's not like spot. <laughs> but it's not. Yeah. It's not yellow. So we've had some ice cream, we've been naughty. We had Nando's and ice cream. I think Alex is feeling a little bit better now, which is a good thing. And uh, yeah, we got out, didn't we? Out, out on a Saturday night. <laughs> so we're walking back to the car now, because believe it or not, the car parks, they still charge at this time in the Barnsley. So we have to get back to the car or we'll end up getting a ticket or whatever. Oh, hello again. It's now nine o'clock, I'm back home again. I had a really nice evening with Alex, it was good. 
hopefully it cheered up Alex a little bit and uh, yeah I uh, dived into the CEO no the diary of a CEO now I've seen this YouTube channel before because I've known of the guy he's on Dragon's Den and stuff like that anyway um, I just put it on in the background while I was driving I'm obviously not watching the video I've got um, Bluetooth so I connected it up so I could listen to it through the radio uh, and it was really interesting on the way to meet Alex I listened to Michael Buble and then on the way back I was listening to Dynamo and it was just kind of about their upbringing and how they got into you know what they do in their careers and all of the failures and stuff like that and it's quite inspiring and I think I'm going to listen to more stories like that instead of just getting stuck on TikTok and watching crap because I've kind of fallen into that a little bit it's that little hit of dopamine do you know what I mean and I used to watch self-help and all those kind of videos constantly read the secret and all of it but I just don't do so much nowadays so I think I'm going to try and get back into those things because it, it's given me a bit more inspiration to keep going which is awesome so anyway I'm going to get my pyjamas on uh, and don't go anywhere I'll be back oh camera wobbling I'll be back in the morning hey morning 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 it's Sunday it's ten past nine um, I've been awake since about seven maybe up past six seven uh, Alfie decided he was gonna leap all over me so it was like I best get up then the one day I get time to sleep in uh, Alfie decides he's not mum's not gonna sleep in so we're up uh, so for the last couple of hours I've actually been tidying up my Instagram spent some time with Alex last night and it's just given me a clear idea of what I'm doing on my TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that which is great it's just kind of lifted a little bit of annoyance from me which is brilliant uh, so this morning I've been deleting old stuff off Instagram and making it look better so the main page is just photographs then you've got the proper reels which are all the uh, take a look at this order sort of video so I'm happier with it I've also uh, started my TikTok out so that is now TikTok for the vocal coach reacts but when I go live it'll be the shop and psychic readings so it works pretty well that way it's not clashing too much live is for one thing the posts are for a different thing um, I've just messaged all my students that are coming back tomorrow so that was quite nice to sort of go right we're still on for tomorrow what slots are good for you you know all that kind of thing so my books are open if you want to uh, have any singing lessons with me or indeed just have a vocal critique you can book that as well um, so I'm getting that organized I don't have many slots available but it's worth a go if you want to have some expert advice on singing um, I'm now in the kitchen because Alf has been doing my head in for the last two hours he's been playing ball uh, and I went to pick up a sock and he nutted me so if I've got like a bruise or look like I've got a black eye that is why uh, so I'm in the kitchen I'm making the breakfast I'm gonna go for poached eggs on toast I think Simon's been up for hours and hours and hours uh, drinking so much tea there's like eight cups on the side you could just use the one cup but no there's loads here uh, there's still the pizza box from Friday night so I think I best tidy the kitchen and uh, yeah we're gonna do poached eggs on toast I don't know if we're going out today because uh, he's still really not well it's not shaking it off yet shake it off shake it off um, but I will be looking at my Vocal Coach Reacts channel because while going through Instagram and deleting uh, a lot of old stuff I realised how many videos I used to do in a week I used to do an astonishing amount I do five or six a week and looking at it now I do maybe one or two I'm not going to get up to that stupid amount that I used to do but I do definitely to at least get Girl Band Thursday and you know some new uh, music Fridays and get up to date with the um, Eurovision stuff so I plan to do a little bit of looking at what's going to come up over the next couple of weeks so I'm going to do that but uh, for now let's make some breaky fast oh and that's 
kitchen karaoke behind me. Oh, and if you didn't notice, if I just shimmy over there, it looks like there's a dead cat on the windowsill. It isn't. I'll show you what it is. It's an Elvis wig on top of the piggy banks because that is just completely normal in this house. <laughs> So I'm making the eggs, I've done a bit of washing up and I'm listening to my new favourite podcast which is on YouTube by the way, Diary of a CEO. The one I'm listening to is an interview with a biographer who did a biography for Elon Musk and Steve Jobs and spent like two years with each of them and they're talking about what he learned and what it was like and it's absolutely fascinating and what I've learned so far from all of these is that every every single successful person has had a really crappy well I'd say quite a good percentage have had a really crappy upbringing not treated very well by the parents and they've got this bloody mindedness that they're going to prove their parent wrong that they can be successful and achieve uh, and I'm just listening to you know Elon Musk's upbringing and some of it's a bit cringy like really he's his dad had kids with his stepdaughters. What? What? So it's fascinating and it's what I need right now. I need positivity. I need successful folks saying how they've done well instead of just flicking through TikTok because it's messing with my brain. So we're out. He felt like it, although he is bedding up a bit. I think he just had to come out and do the second hand shops. So in the first one, I got some wool, some magazines for Liz because she's been on about knitting some booties so I figured the knitting magazines will probably have something in them. What else did I get? I want a scarf. Now we're walking down to the other one but I seem out of breath today. I've been really good recently so why am I out of breath today? So we did a bit of B&M because there was nothing in the second uh, charity shop and uh, got some bread <laughs> like you do and uh, stuff for the cats and dog really. Oh and something else for Liz. Look, Paul Simon is wrapped up I like my own massive, again, I don't know, just a bag. So all six foot four of him, poor lad, is all wrapped up. He's just come in and he's got the cold shivers and sweats and all sorts, so he's getting snuggled up. He's even got a hat on, bless him. So I've put the bins out, broken some tables up that we've had for years and they're just probably not worth reselling, so I've broken them up so we can burn them. Uh, I'm going to leave Simon on the sofa I think and I'm going to go and do some filming upstairs just done my washing because someone Alfie got hold of my bra this morning and I'm always watching I'm always being careful don't leave your bra anywhere I always put it on top of the wardrobe but no Alfie got hold of it this morning and had a good chew luckily it's still in one piece but it's been in the wash now and yes I know I've only got one bra but bra shopping is the worst thing i i can't tell you how much i hate bra shopping so i literally had the same type of bra for 20 years <laughs> i don't mean the same one but the same type for 20 years because i just hate it i hate it I hate it anyway i'm gonna, gonna go do some filming upstairs i think i've supplied him with some lucas aid supposed to be good when you're not feeling so great and uh, I'm going to leave him wrapped in his sleeping bag and hat and stuff. All six foot four of him. New thing for 2024 as well, crochet. My gran sh showed me how to crochet when I was like 13, 14 and I could only do circles. Apparently Liz can only do squares so <laughs> maybe we should come together. But she's given me a learn to crochet DVD and a book. And I bought some more wool while I was at the second hand shops today just to, you know, test and have a go. So I'm going to try and do some crochet granny squares scarves and see how I get on. But that's not started yet. I'm still cross stitching at the minute. 
which is in this bag. <laughs> I'll take you to the shop with me. So that one is cross stitch and that one is crochet in bags that you can buy from my shop. <laughs> Hello Alfie. You okay? <laughs> he needs his hair cut in. I've managed to get him booked in though finally for the end of the month. What's going off here? Edward sprawled out on the carpet. Right, let's get some filming done. Are you comfy? So that's it, I've filmed two. I've done Albania Eurovision and I've also done Cynthia Erivo, What's It All About? Alfie. So they're both rendering, one of them's already to go, done, copyright sorted. Um, Cynthia Erivo, I'm having a few copyright issues. Um, it's not blocked, but um, it's, you know, not gonna earn anything. So I'm gonna try and clip it a little bit so I can earn something from it. Cause I know it's not all about earning it, but you know, when you spend so much time on these videos, you kind of want some return. So it's cup of tea break now, I think. I'm gonna go down and get a cup of tea. So I'm waiting for the Chinese, like you do. I've just watched another bit of You Are What You Eat on Netflix. Simon was so not impressed. They were showing where chickens come from. <laughs> well, obviously it's chicken, but you know, different type of farming and things like that. And he was like, this is gross. Um, I thought it was interesting. Um, anyway. I'm now waiting for the Chinese food. I've just warmed the plates in the microwave. I don't know if you guys do that as well, but I do. Um, so I got in first. None of that waiting for the phone to ring. Uh, they answered straight away. So I have a feeling it might be fairly early. Oh, have I just made, oh, I made a puddle. I've been uh, watering the plants and I think I may have over watered that one. There's now a puddle underneath. <sighs> I have to go and get a cloth. So I've just realised I completely forgot to do the usual, here's what our Chinese food is. But it was the same as usual, chicken chow mein, beef chow mein. I have a little bit of their noodles and some fried rice, but I didn't eat all that too much today. I had, I'd say, half a portion of noodles and half a portion of rice. Uh, I had one prawn toast and thought, wow, there's so much fat in that. Uh, and a couple of prawn uh, crackers, not much. I think it's this you are what you eat thing. <laughs> it's making me slightly too obsessed. Oh, but yeah, I know there's too much salt in Chinese food, so I think we might have to look at doing it a lot less often. Anyway. So that's it for today's vlog. I'm going to sign off. It's about half past six. I'm signing off a bit early today because I've got somebody doing my thumbnails. Uh, and the little dividers that you'll see in the video now uh, they've been done by Alex so Alex is doing the thumbnail and uh, yeah we're just having a bit of a refresh of all of my social media and YouTube and stuff um, you know updating the intros outros and all that stuff um, so yeah thank you so much for watching I'll be back on Tuesday so I'll be filming tomorrow and Tuesday ready for Tuesday evening um, but do get involved in the comments as always. It's nice to hear what you think and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye loves. Bye, bye loves. What?